in the next two minutes i like you to forget about who is at your left or right i like you to cry before god and say power from heaven fall upon my destiny Power from heaven upon my destiny. Pray. Like the day of Pentecost, oh God, let the fire fall. Perentos ketetekata, kebrakatos yata. The unction that came upon Papa Hagen, the unction that came upon Itahosa, the unction that came upon all the generals of the past. Let it come again, oh God of heaven. of God enough of powerless ministry it's time to contend for genuine power businessman enough of explanations for everyone that asks it receive it pray right to the back pray mantles of men like Pa Elton where are the mantles of men like Apostle Babalola where are the mantles Kebre kete kaparakatosia Kebre kete 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 One more minute of travail as a communication of your hunger and your desperation. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me, just like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. One more time from the depth of your heart, fire, fire, fire. Fire follow me. Fire, fire, fire. Sada gada baka tapas kate kate. Kata 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 kata. You're about to receive something that will change your life forever. This is the place. 
Weeks of encounter Do to me what you want Ah This is the place Of surrender Do to me what you want Ah This is the place where my life is changed Do to me what you want She na 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 Hallelujah In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Now please hear me I want to begin to pray for you. The first thing we are starting with tonight is a real impartation. Listen, believe me when I tell you you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't assume you have it. If it is not there, it is not there. There are ministries, there are individuals that are in desperate need for the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no need to sit down wishing for something that can be yours. For this promise is for you and for your children as many as are afar off, even as many as the Lord will call. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. I want to pray right now I want you to hold those all those who begin to run by the Spirit just bring them out here gently there is a very mighty impartation that is coming on you right now I want to pray for you father in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God here in this treasured land of Abel Kuta, standing from here and speaking to the nations there are men and women you are calling even at this time to give them strange experiences of impartation right now even as you have revealed to me i stretch my hands from the front to the back the left to the right as many of these people right now please whether you are an usher or not just bring them out those under the anointing at the count of three that fire is coming upon someone is an ignition of the spirit are you ready one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire there is a specific kind of impartation that god is doing with this fire We need a move. Now hear me. Please hear me. Over the last three months, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about a restoration of the healing ministry. The Lord began to speak to me that we have really lost the healing ministry there are people who heal but there are few people who have really gotten this healing mantle i believe that there will be a distribution of such graces here wherever you are i want to pray father there are men and women who must carry help that lady please help this lady must carry this mantle of healing at the count of three i want you to shout jesus not everyone 
but there are people who must carry this mantle are you ready now one two three shout jesus take that fire 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 he shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover Help that woman, please. Help that woman. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Hallelujah. Now we are still praying. Please, I want you to give me give me a mic. Hold on, please. I want to do something prophetic here. I'm going to invite Minister Dunsin to come up and just any song in his spirit. I believe there will be a transference of mantles. Hear me. There are prophetic psalmists that will need to arise. Not, not just composing what does not edify. Please listen to me some of you have been called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but for a long time you are in hiding like Gideon a shofar is about to come from the realm of the spirit and hear me please as the man of God raises this song some of you songs young and old will begin to rise from within your spirit man yes sir please spirit of the sovereign Lord Shaka taka 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 make your presence the glory of the living oh the mantle of psalmistry Shaka taka 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 taka
Hallelujah. Now listen. Please listen. I'd like you to place your hand on your chest. If you have seen any kind of oppression in your life and your family, I want to pray. The man of God is still going to worship. Listen to me. I want to pray right now. Here it's already filled up. So you may not need to bring them out. Just help them there. But I want to declare fire is falling from heaven. There are men and women here who have been under all kinds of oppression. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones. Now hear me. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. And if God be God, everything that has refused to give way for the King of Glory to come in, he must give way right now. And the power of God will come upon you. That fire will frustrate the counsel of darkness. I want you to shout from the depth of your heart that name that is above all names. Are you ready now? Father, I decree and declare that everyone here who is oppressed, everyone and every family, every business and every ministry, we come in the name of the Lord God of heaven and we decree and declare as we shout that name let every mountain let every other name let every enchantment let every activity of wizardry let every activity of star gazers let it come to an end are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command every foul spirit go now go now go now release Hallelujah. Who is Israel? Oh dear, we don't have time. Who is Israel? You are wearing a black t-shirt. Israel. Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. What I'm seeing is a gentleman with a black t-shirt. Us. Israel. What's your name? Huh? Please help us with another mic. Sound people. Israel, Israel. Israel, from where? Abiyokuta. God wants to change the life of your family, my friend. I don't know you, but I, do you believe in the power of the prophetic? Yes, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Deborah, who is Deborah? My God, my spirit is fired up this night. Vivian, I'm hearing the name Vivian. Who is Vivian? Deborah, I'm hearing a name Vivian. Vivian, you are wearing a t-shirt, black and white. Vivian, black and white t-shirt. A lady. Vivian. Realigning everything. Please don't come out at random. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. As soon as that comes, I'll pray for you. This is what I just saw. In the name of Jesus, everything that represents the workings of darkness. There is a woman here, you have, you have trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing four years. Where are you? Four years, no child. Come and receive your miracle now. Four years, no child. Make sure you are married. Four years, no child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the power of God is coming on one of you here. Right now in the name that is above all names. May that fire fall right now. In the name of Jesus. 
please don't come out at random let's let's maintain some level of order we have a few minutes and i'm done come what's your name hold on please i want to pray for you four years no child i know many of you it's not four years obedience is better than sacrifice i will still pray for you four years you four years too four years four years what's your name is the mic working victoria what's your name huh is it oye tunde who is that what's your name do you know her is your husband here where is he i'm seeing two of you standing and the lord is saying i should pray even for his finances where is he oga can you run and come god wants to visit you don't be embarrassed this is a family of faith please come and stand here sir you see why it's good to invite people to the house of god it's not for showmanship please hold your wife i want to pray for you four years you believe in the power of jesus you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life i'm going to pray for you but in the name of jesus oyetunde also that's your name my dear what's the name okay right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare standing in faith with every vessel here Shanice Kali Brandagata. Madam, I'm seeing something come out of your stomach, eh? Out now! The name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, according to the time of life, help her. I decree and declare, return with your child. God is giving you a baby girl. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. And sir, the Lord instructed me to pray over your finances. I decree and declare, let things shift for you right now. For all of you who are out here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you. Afterwards, I'll just speak over you. This is what God is revealing to me. All those who are standing right now, there's such an anointing coming on one of you. We have to hurry up and walk with time. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit that is back of this, it must go now. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm seeing fire just coming on you. The Lord is burning everything that is responsible for this helper place this season of barrenness i decree and declare to you according to the time of life weep not for the book is opened in the name of jesus christ boyega who is boyega i'm hearing a name boyega is there someone like that boyega what's your name sir you're a preacher can i pray for you sir i hope you're not embarrassed please come things are about to shift in your ministry you see we are product of god's mercy and grace there is absolutely no reason to pride and glory except in the name of the lord when you see these kinds of things happen it is more than a man being anointed is jesus revealed he's been revealed in the midst of his people i interject to say this because usually in the presence of mighty manifestations like this it is easy to exalt the man more than jesus thank god for the honor that comes with priesthood but can i tell you there is only one who deserves every glory and every lifting here and we must not be ashamed to let the nations know that we were taught well let the nations know that he's built us well our assignment is to see him lifted and he said that if i be lifted up from the earth you see if i be lifted up from the earth jane i'm hearing a name jane jane oh that's that's really the song shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love as we sing. Holy, holy, holy. So I want to pray for you. 
because you have come out in honor to the word of the Lord transference is a privilege it's an election of grace I assure you there is a man of God right now I don't know where you are but there is such a mighty anointing coming on you you are a man of God in ministry already a man of God right now there is such an anointing and the Lord is telling me that is a twin combination of the teaching ministry and the prophetic that mantle help him please father please hold my hand sir in the name of Jesus Christ sir by the privilege of this election of grace I decree and declare according to the word of the Lord step into a new season of power with God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my friend come your life is about to change I don't know you but let me tell you this the Lord himself is about to take you to a dimension in the prophetic and the apostolic is starting as a, like a prayer ministry but is a real apostolic and prophetic ministry God is training you and God is building you and listen to me there is one secret that has kept you humility maintain it maintain it no matter how God lifts you let me use this as an encouragement to many people no matter how far God lifts you the moment pride begins to come fight it like you fight Satan don't ever allow any result make you fight those who God used to help you whether you like them or not whether you believe in them or not whether you think you are more anointed than them or not in your humility is your immunity I don't know this man I don't pray for people carelessly I fear God but I want to pray for you he's a ministry sir here in huh? oh I see really my brother you are going to carry very ancient mantles fathers that have died you write what I'm telling you have you read about parking Diomi? have you read about that man huh? I like you if you can go and read his material read it and pray there is something from that lineage that is needed in your destiny go and write what I'm saying just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ by the election of grace I release you step into a new season power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ a new season may your eyes be open may your hands be touched to war in the name of Jesus Christ why are you here we have to pray for the sick Deborah hold hold them one of you will start running now the power of God will come on you these things are supernatural just please be sensitive don't mind me let me just do my crazy thing here we'll soon we'll soon be done I don't know why God does this thing one of you literally the power of God is a is is, is victory over delay that's what is happening it's not like you are running intentionally the power is an anointing that will come upon you and it will just be like you are running like Elijah just run mr. man you are not Jane now Jane is a female name what is he doing here huh okay don't well I can't I'm just going to pray for you one of you will start running now by the Spirit in the name of Jesus father that mantle and that grace that makes even for restoration victory over delay may that grace be administered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and let this be a new season even by the Spirit of God that everything that represents the operation of delay we crush it now by the Spirit of the Living God my friend lift your hands this man with monkey jacket in the name of Jesus I just saw oil coming on your head right now take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ that anointing will come on you you will never be the same again I don't know who this man is but God is going to use you mightily you are drinking of a very very ancient wine in the name of Jesus may God shift you 
to new levels in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit this lady look at me my dear I command that spirit to leave now it must let you go and release your family by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for the sick we may not have time for testimonies tonight unfortunately because we have to respect our time I'm going to pray for the sick and I'll do the final impartation one day God is going to grant us grace somewhere where God will grant us grace to do a vigil one day and we'll have the time to really take the time to minister minister greatly to people Mr. Dusin, the Lord is speaking to me about, I don't, I, I, of course I know your team, but this lady, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. This, this lady, that you are entering your season of reward. I believe that what he says to one, he says to all. But in the name of Jesus, that's why I, 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 I just informed him before praying. I'm praying for you. I don't know what is that reward that you must step into in this season honestly i release you by the prophetic and i declare step into it and by extension i pray for your colleagues that you will step into the same grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is a lady from this city who is going to rise as a worshiper listen to what i'm saying write it down there is a lady that god is working on you see what God is doing with, you know, some of the ladies, the women that God is using in this nation and across. People don't just rise like that. There is a way God lifts people. Hear what I'm saying from this city. It will be as if she just came out from nowhere. All of a sudden, every church will be interested in inviting her. People will want to hear her songs. It is just one song, one that God is going to bring and that is what is going to announce that lady Lord as you have revealed to me whether she's here or not oh God of heaven I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit visit that lady and I pray like you did Mary launch her into this new season where she will sing your praises to the nations and like minister Dunsin, minister hear me everyone here who has desired to walk in prophetic psalmistry there is a difference between just ministering and singing and prophetic psalmistry that was the reason why i requested him to come and stand here i have seen what god has done in his life in prophetic psalmistry and in the name of jesus i pray for you you don't have to bring them out when they are under the anointing lord wherever you are at least seven people who must carry this grace for worship in a definite way wherever you are i stretch my hand as he's stretching his hand may that grace right now receive that grace right now Take that grace right now. Take that grace right now. Some of you, the angel of the Lord will wake you in the night. Oh, I tell you this. And give you songs from heaven. Songs that you will write. They will become ladders that will lead the nations to worship. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. If you are trusting God for a miracle in your body, have a few minutes to be here. Just lay your hands right now. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Holy Spirit's gentle touch. Lay your hands there. Is flowing. I 
want you to agree with me as I pray for you. Listen to me. Help them, please. The healing power of Jesus is touching people. I truly believe in the healing ministry. I believe that Jesus heals. I believe that miracles are not a manipulation. There are genuine miracles. And right now, just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Ah, Shalena Sabaruziata. Your hair will hate your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. One more time, and I'll pray for you right now. Just breathe your name upon me. His name is powerful. Just breathe your name upon me. His name is mighty. Able to save. Your able to heal. Now agree with me in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing your life and plaguing your body according to the integrity of scripture the Bible declares that by his tribes we were healed Please help them. Help those under the anointing, my God. Such a move of the healing power. Help that gentleman. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every eye condition. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition. Hear the word of the Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Any terminal disease. HIV, cancer, we curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have a swelling around the side of your, your cheek. It, it, it looks like mums, but it stayed there for unnecessarily long. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. It looks like muzzle pool, but it has remained there almost as if you cannot stand for long. Your kneecap shakes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be healing for you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I declare life and healing now. Perfection and wholeness now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. With God, your voice is going down. Someone rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for two minutes or, or five minutes. Listen, this prayer, no moving around. I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Mean business with God. You came for a conference, a time where you will search your heart. The first prayer, I know that you have prayed and prayed. But I want us to pray the prayer of the psalmist. He said, try my heart. Search my heart. Try it. If there is any wicked way in me, lead me to the way everlasting. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, Abel Kuta. Are you praying? 
Prayer warriors, pray. The vessels that will be used in this city, pray, pray, pray. It is beyond impartation. It is beyond listening to messages. There are forces assigned to mantles. There are forces assigned to destinies with a primary assignment of ensuring that your voice is no longer heard at the mountain of Israel. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press onto the mark of the high calling in Christ. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him the bible says he endured the cross he despised the shame is someone praying hallelujah now listen the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it admonishes us it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight weight jealousy weight bitterness weight competitions weight it is not only sin you lay down you lay down weights weights useless weights competition comparing yourself to yourself it says and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus he says who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame we must obtain grace to cry before the lord that every weight that's our next prayer point every weight now listen you don't have to be bad to be a victim of weights you just have to be human eventually you will find yourself in unnecessary competitions you find yourself in petty jealousy you find yourself distracted by so many things you are going to cry that every weight that will not allow you ascend to the mountain where your voice will be heard that weight must drop dead now lift your voice and pray mean it with jesus christ every weight it's time to grow in the spirit every weight every distraction every hindrance of the flesh every weight someone is praying weights that hinder your hearing 
bitterness, hatred, backbiting, jealousy. Wait. Sanika de balaka tosko to pronde de balaka tasiata. Says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. His yoke is easy, and his burden is light. Few more minutes, and we are done for this session. In the name of Jesus hallelujah last prayer point Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the strong or the mighty glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches he says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me in this kingdom the pride of a believer is not just mundane achievements as important and motivating as they are i do not downplay the place of those things we need to make progress psychologists tell us that one of the indices the principal index that measures fulfillment is progress to the degree to which you perceive that you are making progress that is the degree to which you find fulfillment so i don't downplay the place of progress but let me tell you this the real pride of a believer in this kingdom is that you understand and you know him john 17 and verse 3 jesus praying said this is eternal life that they may know thee the one true god and jesus whom thou hast sent this is eternal life solomon explored everything that we desire to explore money reputation fame everything his eyes desired he pursued it so as far as human the human standard of achievement is concerned he got everything but hear what he said at the end of his life he said vanity upon vanity all is vanity that is not a statement to endorse mediocrity is a reality from the standpoint of anything minus god that is the result of anything minus god and he says here is the conclusion of the matter he says of reading many books there is no end and much study is only a weariness to the soul he says this is the conclusion of the matter to fear god and to keep his commandments he says this is the whole duty of man so we're going to pray can I add one more prayer point? Pray and cry that every force fighting the oil of God upon your life. They will not go by default. This is why you were given dominion. You are going to have to cause that spirit to let you go that you find visibility. Listen, listen, listen. I have met in my life I have met men of God, Pastor Sir. I have met sincere people, people of, of impeccable character, people of integrity and soundness. And I am shocked that even their community does not know they are there. Can I tell you, influence is important because it is not only important that your voice be heard, it must be heard on the mountain. Are we together now? Habakkuk chapter 2 says, I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower. There is an elevated position where you must be for the, the purposes of God through you to be heard and known. 
and there are spirits that have kept mighty men down i have met intercessors i have met prophets genuine people i have met apostles indeed i have met people that i myself had to just go back and say my goodness from whence did this kind of breed come from but you never hear their voice anywhere because there are powers zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 son of man what seest thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem against israel three things judah your praise jerusalem your covenant and your peace are we together israel your promise they have lifted up themselves against it it says they have lifted up themselves so that no man doth lift up his head please take this last prayer point seriously there are many of you here god must give you visibility the truth is that by by the grace of god you have found expression god has shown you honor you have worked in keeping with the principles that make for greatness you have entered your season of appearing except that these horns have vowed to keep you down the way they kept all who are with you down but can i tell you this the bible says that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing you are going to pray with determination that in the name of jesus everything that has pegged me down to not allow this prophetic ministry find visibility to not allow this this apostolic dimension find visibility either in a bell kuta covering the glory of the assembly god has trusted me with or the group or whatever platform please lift your voice and pray psalm 3 says many a day that rise up against me many a day that say there is no help for you he says but thou O lord art a shield for me you are my glory you are the lifter up of my head someone is praying release yourself from that age-long captivity there are daughters of zion in the similitude of deborah that must rise there are men of fire and power that must rise in this time and hear me if you are silent you will be silenced declare thou that ye might test be justified go ahead and declare in the name of jesus freedom from the captivity that stops me from ascending the mountain so that my voice be heard in israel pray pray who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords we will praise hard of night from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise adonai all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise adonai 
from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise Adonai all the nations of the earth hallelujah 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 listen my god the power of god is so mighty here i'm tempted to call my dear friend and brother personal to come and join me here let's sound that shofar and let the devil give way tonight hallelujah now watch this listen to me a, a mighty anointing is going to fall upon this place tonight and hear me the moment i begin to make those decrees the power of god will come upon you and i want you to check yourself some of you already in this atmosphere you are you are healed already and listen as i pray for you those who have been oppressed with all kinds of demonic spirits holding a paraco balakatabatosia it must give way atmosphere sheet now chains be broken break out holy spirit come down heaven open heaven open now lay your hands I'm going to ask Personat to just prophetically sound that shofar and as he sounds a trumpet just once everything my father has not planted I assure you by the God who sent me and the one who sent us he must give way right now now watch this watch this when he sounds a trumpet I'm going to begin to pray already the power of God is coming on several people the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I want you to run either to my left or my right there'll be officials we have a medical team that will confirm you if, if need be and then for those online you can begin to send in your testimonies let's celebrate the triumph of light over darkness are you ready for that lay your hands now yes sir Shall we? The sound of revival, the sound of healing, the sound of resurrection, that everything that was dead, hear the word of the Lord, everything that was dead, it comes back to life now. Now lay your hands I'm about to pray my God there's such an anointing here as I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare every devil of infirmity help them every spirit of infirmity I command that you go now Leave God's people now. Every spirit behind infirmity, I curse you by the God of heaven. And I decree, I declare, right now, every sick body be healed now. Be healed now. Blind eyes be opened now. Deaf ears be opened now. Those using crutches and walking aids, lift it now and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
migraine headaches be healed now blood conditions be healed now paralysis be healed now the Lord is showing me the Lord is showing me there's someone you came here with a crutch I want you to lift it up and start walking this is what I'm seeing in my vision is there such a person walk walk come walk most profiting in Jesus name shall we lift our hands to heaven and ask the Lord to speak to our hearts the Bible declares the entrance of your word gives light and understanding unto the simple go ahead and ask the Lord for an encounter by his spirit it says they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion is someone praying verbalize your desire it says, ye have not because ye ask not. Father, give me an encounter on this special Sunday, this Father's Day. Let it be from glory to glory. For in Jesus' matchless name we've prayed. Father, we thank and we honor you for this morning. And we pray indeed that the entrance of your word will give us light and understanding upon our hearts. For in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's wave our hands to Jesus tonight with hearts full of expectation. Lift your hands to him, believing that he will walk wonders in the midst of his people. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Sing it one more time Let every other name fade away Shala Bako let every other name fade away Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Hallelujah. Father, tonight we declare that Jesus is revealed in this place And Lord, I pray that your word will come with power let there be every manifestation of the spirit that you will in this place tonight in the name of jesus let the sick be healed let the oppressed be delivered give our lives direction let mantles fall in this place tonight in the name of jesus christ Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.